I think more than anything, it was fear. And with what happened in Paris, um, people are really, it's, it's, I guess it's natural that people are going to be using their heart instead of their brains. That's a natural thing. When something like this happens, that's what you do. Sure. The first thing is like you're afraid. You're afraid of your family, you're afraid of this. And the sad part about this is that the lack of knowledge in Islam, that's where I have a problem. That's where I believe us Muslims, it's our responsibility to educate our neighbors who are our friends. We've never seen a terrorist. We've been here for 30 years, and none, nothing in this whole Fredericksburg, Pennsylvania area, nothing like that has happened. And it will not happen, because terrorism is not Islam. I don't care what's, who says anything about that. It is not Islam. Terrorism is not Islam. That's just about it. So I think it is our responsibility as Muslims to interact more, to educate our neighbors, to be a good Muslim. And let me tell you this, our Quran and our Sunnah, the Sunnah is basically uh, what the Prophet did, okay, which I call it basically, he's the walking Quran, his example, okay. What the Sunnah tells us and the Quran basically is, this is where you live. Forty houses around you are your neighbors, are your family. And that when you cook something that smells so good and they can actually smell it, have the courtesy and maybe go knock at that one door and give a plate that they might, you know. And, it's, and, and that's hospitality. It's compassion. And it's in Islam. It's in Christianity. It's in Judaism. It's not a Muslim thing. It's a God thing. God created all of us. He is the creator. There is only one creator. We all know that. He is the creator of Adam and Eve, which we all came from. Unless there's an Adam for Muslims and an Adam for Christians and an Adam for Jews, we're all one. And, you know, I hope, and, and not I hope, I do believe that we're going to be all right. I really do. As far as the Muslims are concerned, this is going on. Nobody can stop it but God, because it is the right thing. And we are, as Muslims, we are taught to follow the rules of the country. And the rules of the country is to do what we are supposed to do with the county and all that. They are the ones who are going to. And we have no doubt that it's going to be okay because we're going to do what we're supposed to do. You know, uh, we are peaceful people. That's who we are. And this is home for us, and we're not going anywhere. That time, it was, the place was enough for that population. But it has tripled or maybe four times more now. That's why. That's the reason why, uh, you know, Islamic Center of Fredericksburg and all of us uh, basically have uh, decided to move to a bigger place. The, the congregation is bigger. The congregation is super big. Uh, like, uh, I would say, three, four times more. That's why. Right. The parking lot, as he was talking about, which was a whole big thing about that, it was only 40 parking lots because there were maybe five, ten families at that time. Yeah, they didn't need anything more. But now, you come on Friday, you need at least 150 parking lots, if not 200. You see, just like how it goes when Christmas is. <laughs> That's the time you see a Tons of people in church, sure. and then you don't see them much. <laughs> Same old thing. So when we have our Eid, the two big celebrations, 1,000 people easy. But that is when all the different masajid, the mosque, all the different mosques come together, and we all pray together. And we normally, we've done it for years at the field house. Okay. Yeah, so is there a need for this big mosque? Yes. And somehow I have a, I have a feeling, who knows? It might be even not enough, but then if other masjids also do the same in the future, then yeah, we should be all right.